wanted to ask you, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez's new darling of the party. She officially has more Twitter followers than Nancy Pelosi. She was on 60 Minutes this weekend proudly calling herself a radical. And she's promoting policies like saying that every single carbon emission in the country, every car, should be eliminated within the next 11 years. Everything from a 70 to 80 percent tax rate. Do you agree that she could possibly, in this ideology of the socialist left, could splinter your party? No. You know, I think that... Um she is challenging the status quo. I think that's fantastic. I think that she is introducing bold ideas that, that should be discussed. And I think it's good for the party. I frankly think it's good for the country. You support uh, the Medicare for All bill, I think, initially right. co-sponsored co by Senator Bernie Sanders. You're also a co-sponsor. Yes. On, on I believe it will totally eliminate private insurance. Um, so for people out there who like their insurance, well, they don't get to keep it. Let's eliminate all of that. Let's move on. So you support giving universal health care, Medicare for all, to people who are in this country illegally? Let me just be very clear about this. I am opposed to any policy that would deny in our country any human being from access to public safety, public education, or public health, period. It is time to take it to the next step, which is to shift the burden away from that woman to prove that she's not being paid the same amount, and instead put the onus on the corporations to prove that if they're a good business, they're doing the right thing, which is to pay people equally for equal work. So that's what we're requiring. You, you've got this plan here where you're going to make them put up uh, in they public will... what, what, what they're doing or if they're failing. Is it, wouldn't that be a shame if they were failing? I, uh, well, of course it would, but I think of it as creating positive incentives. Wh whether well, that's something important. Well, and there will be a like... consequence, mm -hmm. but there should be a consequence, Ari. There should be a consequence to the corporation if they're not paying people equally for equal work. Women deserve to be paid as much as men, and they are not. Right. And the way that I'm proposing we change it is that the corporations have to make it their business to investigate and do an analysis of how they're paying people and then they have to report that information. Yeah. You have a one for one thing where you say okay one percent off right. if you're one percent off uh, gender parity you're going right. to give up one percent of your profit. I looked at one for one and I thought that's really bold I mean am I yeah. to read that that if a if a if a company has a 15% pay gap, which some do, as you, as you just uh, were telling us, they're going to give up 15% of their profits? There will be fined 15% of their profits from that previous year. Yes. When elected, I am prepared to take executive action if Congress doesn't pull its act together. I will give, after being elected, the United States Congress 100 days to pull it together, put a bill on my desk for signature, and if they do not, I will take executive action and do three things in particular. I'll put in place a comprehensive background check. I'm gonna require that we put resources into ATF so they can take the licenses of gun dealers who break the law, do you? And then the third piece is by executive action, I'll put in place a ban on the importation of assault weapons into our country. Day one, January 20th, 2021, you are in the Oval Office, you are the sitting president. Mm -hmm. What do you do about the situation at the border? Well, immediately, and this, this inhumane policy that is about separating children from their families and holding children in cages. You know, frankly, Stephanie, it's a human rights abuse that is being committed by the United States government. But in addition, immediately get to work on a passing comprehensive immigration reform with a pathway towards citizenship, a plan to take executive action to immediately reinstate protection for DACA, expand those that would be um, allowed to actually receive DACA protection, expand um, protection so that we would actually defer deportation for the parents of DACA um, recipients as well as siblings and spouses and TPS holders. Give DREAMers a pathway towards citizenship. We have got to pull together a comprehensive system for giving people a pathway towards citizenship. My plan is to get us back on the right course and um, give a pathway to folks to, to, to achieve citizenship. There's no question I'm in favor of banning fracking. 
So, yeah, and, 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 starting, and starting with what we can do on day one. So would you ban offshore drilling? Yes, we banned plastic bags um, in, in, in California and in San Francisco. And again, you know, people had to get so used to it. So would you ban the single-use plastic and say, look, set the standard? I no think more we have plastic? to create incentives to ban these. Plastic straws adapt. are a big thing right now. Yeah. Do you ban plastic straws? I think we should. United Nations says that cattle, livestock cattle, uh, contribute 14.5% of all human-produced greenhouse gas. As a nation, we actually have to have a real priority at the highest level of government around what we eat and in terms of healthy eating because we have a problem in America. But would you support changing the dietary guidelines? The, the, yes. The, you know, the food pyramid, but people yes. are to, yes. to reduce red meat specifically. Yes. We will require all elements of industry to actually score, and they will be scored based on the carbon imprint that their business creates. And we will score that. So again, that industry, that business, and we can all be aware of and measure the impact of their behavior on the environment. I frankly think that based on this and all we've seen him do before, including ta attacking members of Congress, that he frankly should be, his Twitter account should be suspended. Um, I think there is plenty of, of, of now evidence to suggest that he is irresponsible with his words in a way that could result in harm to other people. And so the privilege of using those words in that way should probably be taken from him. It is status quo thinking to believe that putting more police on the streets creates more safety. Uh, that's wrong. So my question for you now, in retrospect, looking at your time as, uh, as DA and as Attorney General of California through the lens of 2020, did you help contribute to what you describe as a status quo thinking that uh, more police equals more safety? I am very clear that, that we have, have got to, in America, reimagine how we are accomplishing public safety. There are two groups of people who are raising our children parents, often with the assistance of grandparents and aunts and uncles, and our teachers, and we are not paying them their value. She claims teachers, on average, make 11% less than other comparably educated professionals. So, she wants to give them a $13,500 raise. What's the price tag? The price tag is $315 billion over the course of 10 years. We will pay for it by increasing the estate tax. Elected, I'm going to put in place and require that states that have a history of passing legislation that is designed to, to prevent or, or limit a woman's access to reproductive health care, that those laws have to come before my Department of Justice for a review and approval, and until we determine that they are constitutional, they will not take effect. happened in Gaza over the past nine months is devastating. The images of dead children and desperate, hungry people fleeing for safety, sometimes displaced for the second, third, or fourth time. We cannot look away in the face of these tragedies. We cannot allow ourselves to become numb to the suffering, and I will not be silent. As I've said before, you know, look, Maya Angelou told us that, listen, you should listen to people when they tell you who they are the first time. I can imagine what can be and be unburdened by what has been.